Kabitsa farm is situated in Kabarak, Nakuru. It is a 50-acre plot of land that rears pigs, cattle and chicken managed by Mr. and Mrs. Chemorem. An animal health officer visits the farm twice a week. His duty is to keep an account of every animal on the farm. He checks on them and advises the managers if there is any animal that isn't well. All the employees are trained in animal rearing and husbandry to be able to take care of the animals. The cattle are bred on a large scale. They feed on grass, lucerne and molasses. When the cattle are ready for breeding, they are artificially inseminated to prepare for milk production. The cows are usually fed and are left for a while before they could be milked. The milking is done manually by the employees. A borehole has been sunk within the farm and is constant supply of water. The pig section was a recent project of the owners. They currently have 60 pigs. The farmers were particular about the artificial insemination of the pigs. It has to be done three months, three weeks, three days after the previous insemination. There exist a boar and five sows. The sows could not be let to live together, especially around the time they are on heat. The clean environment of the pigs was a surprise as the pigs have a perception of being the dirtiest animals. They are fed only twice a day and for the rest of it they sleep. The pigs are fed on pig feed mixed with omena flour and other ingredients in the right proportions for a healthy nutritious meal. rears broilers. Together with their neighbors, the managers are able to keep good poultry. They sell to the farm which in turn markets them. The farm also has well-equipped and semi-automated slaughterhouse for the poultry. This, the owners say, has gone a long way in easing their employees' exhaustion. The farm processes animal feed. They buy the separate feeds and mix them at a required formula to be able to give the best results. They also have an antitoxin that is used to absorb any impurities that might be present in the feeds. Once the feed has been processed, it is sold to the neighboring farmers and some of it fed to the animals on the farm. The farmers have ready market in some of the biggest hotels in Nairobi, which include Java Coffee House, Galitos and Chicken Inn. Being a large farm, records are of great importance to them. The record keeping of all the animals and activities is done manually and then taken manually to town. All sections of the farm are kept under one file. It is therefore difficult to immediately spot a problem should it arise. The couple was advised that, to ease linkage to their partners in Nairobi, they need to create a soft copy version of their records to cut down on the transport costs. <laughs>